So, in the last class, you might have learnt about that. So, conductor, the carrying the current. Around the conductor, there is a magnetic field. And if it is a straight conductor, we have to apply the what M, the thumb rule. And if it is a loop also, we can apply the what M, the thumb rule. And now, let us consider a conducting wire or a conducting material or a conductor is wound in the form of in the form of a cylindrical coil cylindrical coil whose diameter is the less when compared to the water its length its diameter is the less when compared to the water its length so just you take uh, the one conductors the P and Q is just a conductor. Okay. Then you just make that particular thing or wound in such a way that so rotate. It. And it will form like this. Okay, this is the P side. This side is the one here, the Q side. It is, looks like about here the helical spring. Okay, you might know the helical spring is uh, this way. This is, looks like a what here? A spring. This, this also looks like a spring. It is having a number of what here? Rotations. So that is what we term as a what here? A solenoid. Or we can call a cylindrical coil. What is the meaning of solenoid then? A solenoid is a Conducting wire is wounded in the form of what here? The cylindrical coil whose diameter, consider this particular diameter, diameter of that. Diameter. The diameter is the less compared to the what here? Its length. Okay, so that is what we talked as a what here? So, in the last experiment, what we did, we have taken the one, the strike wire, then we have identified what is the magnetic field. In the second experiment, what we did, it is that the strike, uh, the conductor is made into the loop, and then we have identified what is the magnetic field. And what about in the solenoid? What happens in the solenoid? So, here is the solenoid. helical spring-like structure or a, what we can call it as an cylindrical coil. When the current is the passing through this, okay, just like this, two terminal, this is the P side, this one is the Q side. When the current is passing through this manner, okay, then here, if it forms a body, the magnetic field around the formation of the what here? The magnetic field around this. So this is considered as what here? North side and this one is considered as what here? South side. And if uh, here at the center, okay, the magnetic field lines are looks like a what here? The parallel to each other on the axis of what? Uh, this solenoid. Magnetic field lines are what? Uh, Parallel to each other, or it is a straight line. Looks like a what here? Straight line. So, if you want to increase in the magnetic field lines, what I have to do? Increase the what here? Current. Okay. Increase the current, the magnetic field strength is also what happens? Increases. Okay. First thing is that, okay. So inside the coil, inside the coil, the magnetic field lines are what yet straight lines. So inside the coil, inside the coil, coil, the magnetic field lines, the field lines, 
three lines on a straight region. They are all what here? Straight or we can say parallel to each other. And as a current increases, I increases, increases, current increases, magnetic field lines, the strength of a magnetic, strength, strength is also increases. Okay, increase. And if a number of turns number of turns in a cylindrical coil or in a solenoid is increases then also what happens the strength of a magnetic field is also increases the C is number of turns number of turns increases so strength is also strength is also increases So this is what happens in the body of solenoid. Okay, a solenoid. If you, there is another important thing is also there. If you introduce, if you introduce an iron core, a small iron core, a soft iron, you can take an iron core inside to it. Then also what happens here? So field strength is also increased. Magnetic core. Okay, iron core. Iron core is increases the magnetic strength. So this is all about the what here? The solenoid. I think you have understood the meaning of solenoid. The solenoid is the very very important concept. Please study this. Okay. Thank you very much for watching the video.